And a dozen nations say they're interested in joining BRICS. The bloc of the world's leading emerging market economies is becoming increasingly attractive to up-and-coming countries and those wanting a greater say in global politics. The world has changed dramatically over the past 70 or 80 years since we founded the United Nations system and the Bretton Woods system and what was then the GATT and now the WTO. All of these institutions need reforming and we are saying that the reform process must take into account the position and voices of the global south. We need policy space to also make a determination on how this new order uh, should be uh, shaped uh, in an inclusive manner. A year ago, during a virtual summit hosted in China, President Vladimir Putin said Russia was ready to further develop its cooperation with Brazil, India, China and South Africa in the bloc. But after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, its relationship with South Africa has come under scrutiny from Western powers. The US has accused Pretoria of supplying arms to Russia. It denies that and says it's investigating. It's expected the inquiry may take up to six weeks or potentially longer to complete. Some analysts are concerned South Africa's relations with the United States and the European Union may be badly impacted if it has indeed supplied arms to Russia. But South Africa maintains its neutral on the issue of the Ukraine conflict. In a meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, South Africa's International Relations Minister Naledi Pando defended holding military exercises with Russia, saying they were routine. That's further strained relations with the country's important trading partner, the United States. It's a position that they have to negotiate very carefully, and it is a balancing act. They need to be very careful because, of course, Europe remains still our biggest trade partner, so you don't want to annoy Europe too much. Then again, China and India together is almost double the amount of trade or exports that we do to America, which is only around 8%. China and India combined is, of course, around 16%. Analysts say worsening relations between East and West accelerating the expansion of BRICS. And that seems clear, with friends of the bloc joining the talks in Cape Town. And they include several African states, Saudi Arabia and Iran. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.